I started playing lacrosse when I was very young, probably somewhere in first or second grade. I'm the youngest of four kids. My older brothers played lacrosse and got interested in at a young age. So as a result, there was no other option but for me to play. They needed someone to shoot on, so goalie became a natural fit for me. I didn't really have a say in the matter. But what it did is it pushed me to be so much better than everyone else at my age level. When I finally went up on my visit to CN Hall, when I saw the campus and I saw the size of the classes, my parents immediately loved how beautiful the campus was and the fact that it was a small school, the fact that your teachers have to pay attention to you, the fact that you can't, there's not a huge opportunity to kind of go astray. Um, and I think for me that was important because your first year of school away, you get wrapped up in the atmosphere, it's easy to lose your path. The 2008 season was absolutely necessary for us to then win in 2009. It taught us a lot of valuable lessons. It taught us, one, we can beat the best teams in this country. We can beat ranked teams. We can beat Loyola. We can beat Harvard. We can beat everybody who, up to this point, had thought that Siena was a easy out-of-conference get win. It also taught us that if you don't show up, guess what? We're going to be the same people who get upset. We lost to BMI. We lost to teams that we should never thought we never thought we would ever lose to, especially hosting the tournament. No shot that we ever believed that we weren't going to be there. But it humbles you. We won as a team. We celebrated absolutely as a team. Jumping on that pile with all the guys that had worked so hard for the last two, three seasons, there's no better feeling that we had. I am so appreciative to be honored to join this group, this great group of people. Um, and I have no doubt that there will be some more to follow. Um, we had a very talented group of guys and people who put up a lot of numbers who on both sides of the field. And to be one of the first two guys of this group to be in means the world to me. Uh, I thought we had an incredible team and I'm just thankful to be one of the people who get to represent it in the Hall of Fame now. The great thing for me was having an older brother because uh, I always played with, with him. I always started early. Whatever leagues he joined, I joined early. My mom and dad took us to games every weekend. Friday night was high school, Saturday night was college. So we were introduced to the game very young, started playing competitively very young, and fell in love with the game. I knew the history about Siena, and I knew how important it was. And I wanted to be at a program that really aspired to win championships. We had a beautiful place to play, a gorgeous campus, and a community that really supported the program. It was an easy sell. And we recruited well when we were there because of the atmosphere that we were able to provide. We were able to recruit that incredible class because of the success we had and the quality of the people that we had. And primarily, Kenny was our number one recruiter. Edwin Ubelis scored almost 2,000 points. Ronald Moore led the nation in assists, four-year starter. With the two threes to beat Ohio State in the NCAA tournament. Alexander Franklin, player of the year in the league. Of course, the final year recruited Ryan Rossiter was another player of the year. So we had three players of the year on that team, which is, which is rare. But I really think the linchpin to all of it was Kenny Hasbrook, not only in terms of what he provided as the rookie of the year and ultimately the player of the year, but people wanted to play with him. Uh, people wanted to follow his lead. So after he was shown how to do it by Antoine Jordan, he was one of the best captains I ever had. For me, to go in with Ronald Moore is so much more special. As I've said many times, you don't accumulate 400 wins, you don't go into any Hall of Fame unless you have great players. He made me look really good. He was our starting point guard for four years. We won 97 games. I trusted him implicitly. He played with supreme confidence, had an uncanny knack to engineer victory. He knew what to do. He played as hard as he possibly could with phenomenal intelligence every game and every one of his teammates followed his lead. So to go in with Ronald, it's really special. I knew that soccer was a sport for me because my parents both played. When I came here, it just, you know, it had that homey feeling that I loved and, and I loved how Coach Karbowski reached out so much. He came to a bunch of my tournaments. And the school itself was just perfect fit for me. I just, I loved the environment, how it's, you know, a closed campus and everything and having my family be able to come, it just all fit right in. I knew right away. 
When I was looking for a college, I was like, I want to go somewhere where I'll make a difference, and that was the goal, win a MAC championship. Once we got into that weekend, and it was like, this is, we're so close here, you know, we just had, and then once we knocked off Maris, Canisius always was, all four of my years, just a thorn in our side. Always back and forth, it was like one nothing games, you never knew what was going to happen, so physical and everything. So I think just after beating Maris, we were on such a high, and then during that game, it's just so emotionally, you know, physically and emotionally draining, getting bumped around. So when that ball got through to Tabby, I just remember looking up and be like, oh my gosh, she's right there, she's right there. And when she put it away, I, I just started running. I don't really remember anything, you know, right after that, but it was just such an amazing feeling. It, it felt surreal. Like when I saw her in front of the goal with the ball, I'm like, we're gonna do it, we're gonna win. David and I met uh, freshman year, and it was actually Sam Butsky who introduced me to David. We ended up in a religion class together, and he ended up switching into my religion class the hour that I was in, and then, yeah, we started dating freshman year, and we went all the way through. It was a great experience, and then we ended up getting married here. <laughs> we wanted to get married in a church, so we decided this is the place that we met, this is the perfect place. It is such an honor to be inducted, especially, you know, Noel, I never played with her, but as a coach, I mean, she was just so great, such, so great even when we were, she was just a coach seeing her in goal, I can't even imagine her as a player, and same with Tabby, I mean, unbelievable in the middle, just such great players, and I'm so happy that, you know, I could be compared to them and put in the Hall of Fame. It was just a great honor, and I'm so happy that, that I could come to Siena and that I could make such an impact on the program. I kind of started playing basketball when I was around 9, 10 years old. The reason why I was interested was because of my older brother. He played basketball, my cousin as well. So it was kind of something that was just in the family. As the years kept going, um, my love for the game continues to grow, watching you know, the NBA, college level. I realized that I was pretty good at the game, and um, I wanted to keep working to get better and better at it. When I first went up to my visit to Siena, it was just a big family atmosphere. It was a business school, and I kind of always felt like I, you know, I had a business mind. Coach Mack, I guess, is the main reason why I went to Siena. He's the reason what the player that I've become today. He always pushed me day in and day out in practice. And his door was always open, whether it was to talk about basketball, talk about life. He always had my back. Not only me, just the team in general. That's the kind of guy he was. Him and Miss McCaffrey, their whole family. He became a second home away from home, and that was important for me. My junior year was an extremely special year for me. That year in the tournament was, I guess you could say, my defining moment in my college career. Seven seconds to go. Three-pointer. Oh! Hutchins! Double order! With my shots against Ohio State. For the second time in the second overtime, Ronald Moore cans a three. <laughs> that game was, uh, you know, one to remember for years to come. The jumper from Moore. Oh, yes! Hitting the first shot going overtime kind of was just like just a relief, you know, be able to we still are survive, you know, still alive and got another chance to, you know, win this game and then hitting the second one was just like, you know, couldn't write it any better. As a kid you always practice hitting game winning shots on the court <laughs> and to do it at that level was just amazing. It was just God sent man. I can't thank nothing but God for that moment. So it was definitely uh, a great memory, great memory. Not really thinking that I'd be in the Hall of Fame there at one time and be going in with Coach Mack, who I think is one of the greatest coaches. It's just a blessing and I'm extremely grateful.